Hi Virgo, welcome to your incoming love, new love, who's coming towards me reading. This is Mary, and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. This is a new series I'm introducing to the channel, and this is for singles, new love, who's coming towards me. So we'll look at who, like what kind of energy they will be in. We'll get a couple zodiac signs. Uh, we'll get when, like time frame of year, where, uh, how, and what kind of connection it will be and advice for you and then we'll clarify with some tarot so it's kind of a fun reading and i hope you like this and if you do please give me some feedback please do like share subscribe comment all that great stuff let me know how you like it and i will be doing this every month i also have a new other new series i introduced to the channel and it's called uh, messages from your spirit guides so it's oracle messages with a little bit of tarot and uh, it's what spirit wants you to know. So I hope you also like that. Please do go check that out also. Okay, so this is for Virgo. Please do check the description box below for any and all information you need about me. Tons of stuff there. Thank you so much, everybody, for your support to the channel. Whether you've tipped, donated, reached out for personal reading, or subscribed, welcome and thank you to all my new subscribers. It means a lot to me. Your support and the channel's growth and being a part of that and getting the messages out to the people that need to hear it is really, really appreciated and it really means a lot to me. So thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, let's get into it. Virgo, singles, new love, who's coming towards me? Let's see what we get here. Hope everyone's doing well. Happy fall, happy Halloween for October for Virgo. Let's get a couple signs. Let's get a couple signs for Virgo. In, whoa, okay, moon. Let's get one more for Virgo and Pluto. Wow. So Pluto is Scorpio and the moon is Cancer and Pisces. So this is heavy water energy. So some of you could have a water sign. That is all three water signs. Can Well, in astrology, the moon um, is Cancer, but in tarot, it's Pisces. So I always consider it Cancer Pisces. And this is Scorpio. So some of you could be possibly meeting a water sign in the future. Wow, heavy water energy here. All right, so let's look at uh, what kind of energy they have. Who are they? What is their energy like for this new love incoming person for Virgo? Who's coming towards them, Spirit, please? Thank you so much. What is this person's energy like? Who are they? Spirit, please, can we get one card for Virgo? What is this person and what is their energy? All right, we have Yellow Jasper. Control issues, oh boy. Utilize your God-given strength and power instead of fearing that others may try to control you. So this person may either be a control freak or have issues with people trying to control them. So. Not every incoming love reading is a positive one. I just want to let you know that. I've done a couple for other signs that weren't so positive, and I've done some that were very, very positive. So I don't know. We'll see what we get here. So, <clears throat> or um, this could be somebody who's just very strong and positive and is uh, in control of their own life and destiny, and they don't let others uh, control them in any way or tell them what to do. I mean, that just could be that energy also. All right, so we'll see as we get on here and then we'll clarify with some tarot. So when could you possibly meet this person? See if we can get like time of year. For Virgo, singles. Who's coming towards them, new love. Spirit, please, what could be the time frame? For Virgo, I'll take that one. Let's see what we have here. Nine of spring. So springtime. Protect the fruits of your labors. Prepare for possible challenges that lie ahead. Environmental conversation. Conservation. So nine of spring, and that is uh, springtime. So it could be in the spring. Um, so, and uh, yeah, I know we're in, well, we're in fall now, so it could be ne next spring. But this is an energy of, um, 
you know, being a wounded warrior and you keep fighting on. So, and it says, prepare for possible challenges that lie ahead and protection. So I hope you don't feel like you have to protect yourself from this person. Oh boy. Oh boy, Virgo. Let's see. This is an honest reading. So if I feel like this is not going to be a good situation, then I'm going to tell you that. All right. All right. Let's see where this is going. Oh, that could be an energy of just defending uh, the connection. Oh, well, I'm going to cut them. I don't know why. I already cut the decks. Okay. <laughs> So let's look at, uh, we got when, so we got spring. Let's look at where, like where you may meet this person. Where, spirit, please, can we get one, thank you, of where you could possibly meet this person. Leaving or traveling. So you could be on travel, you could be um, on a bus, on a train, you could just be traveling in your car. And you meet this person on vacation somewhere, and you meet this person. So somewhere on leave or travel. It could be just traveling to work. It could be just traveling to a friend's house, traveling to family, or actual on, you know, leave and travel on vacation or something like that. And you do see train tracks here. So some of you could actually be on a train or a subway or something like that when you meet this person. And you do see luggage there, so you could be going on vacation or something like that. Maybe they're even like the um, someone who takes your luggage and packs it or something like that. Hmm. Okay, so how? So we got like um, where? So the where is like on vacation or travel or something like that, and possibly on a train, a subway or something, uh, maybe even a bus or something like that. So let's see how, how could you po possibly run into this person and meet this person, Virgo? How will they meet, run into this person? Spirit, please, thank you so much. Can we get one card for Virgo? How, how, okay. It's like an Indian, how, how? Um, Okay, so we have stone people, vigilance. So, hmm. And you see like uh, cliffs and mountains. There's a lake here. So maybe, you know, you could be, uh, maybe you travel, you can go on vacation and you're mountain climbing or you're rock climbing or you're hiking or something like that. And that's how you meet these people. Somewhere where there's like mountains and um, or something like that, just very rocky, ledgy um, terrain or something. Hmm. All right, so if you connect with this person, and I see it will be in spring, and you see here also, um, you know, flowers and greenery. So you could be like out in nature, uh, just hiking, like I said, or something like that, rock climbing, out on vacation, traveling, and that's how you meet this person. So what kind of connection will this be for Virgo if you connect with this person? Wow. If you connect with this person, Virgo, what kind of connection will this be? For Virgo, these cards are very hard to shuffle. So we have this card here, and it says, Well, sacred union, honor and treasure your relationship, for it's truly sacred. So this could actually be a good thing. You know, this control issues here may not be a bad thing. This may be somebody who just really stands up for themselves, and they don't let anyone um, talk them out of anything or anything like that. It's like they have their own mind, they make their own um, decisions, and they don't let anyone affect that. And this may be with spring, just you, like in the future, could be just really defending them, the connection, if people are against it. And I very, I feel like here this person won't let um, anyone change their mind or anything like that. And this is sort of like an orangey, peachy color. So it kind of reminds me of like the, um, 
like the sacral chakra and the uh, base chakra. So somebody who was could be very passionate also, who is very strong and grounded, and then not afraid to stand in the truth and go after what they want, and they don't let anyone talk them or talk them on anything or control them in any way. So first I was getting a feeling, oh, maybe this is someone that may have like control issues or something like that, but I don't think so. I think they're very just defiant and they do what they want and they don't let anyone tell them what to do. And they're going to stand up for what they believe in. Very strong-willed person, I feel. Also very fiery, passionate, very grounded and stable. Fiery kind of energy. All right. So, but they could be a water sign. So they could have heavy fire in their chart also. Oh, because water, you know, can be, you know, an emotional sign. So let's get your advice. New location. So, hmm. Maybe all leaving and travel, you know, maybe you're moving. You could be moving, and that's how you also, uh, new location, run into this person. And maybe, you you know, you live, in, you know, by the countryside, or maybe you move to the mountains, or something like that. All right, any other advice for Virgo? Well, and as I had just said that we have magic of nature. So this could be like a magical experience that you meet this person, like I said, out in nature, hiking or mountain climbing or whatever you're doing here. And it's like, like magic, you meet this person. And then we have parenting and children. So, I mean, there could be possible um, marriage and children maybe in the future. I don't know. Wow, and as I just turn over the bottom here, we have vacation. So maybe you even, you know, it could be just going on vacation, or maybe you go on vacation and then decide to move also for some of you. And then we have body movement. So I definitely feel like here, um, vacation and out hiking and movement and all that kind of energy, and that's how you meet this person. I feel like you may have a very active uh, connection with this person too. You do a lot of things together, like going out in nature, hiking, walking, mountain climbing, or whatever here, being very uh, physical out in nature with this person. Wow, maybe taking a lot of vacations together also. All right, it says sacred union there. So that's like, you know, a divine um, connection there. With sacred union. So let's see. Let's see, Virgo, Virgo. Let's clarify um, for their personality control issues. Let's maybe just get one or two for that. So. So we have the King of Wands here. Someone, like I said, very fiery, passionate, who goes after what they want. They don't back down. Um, very determined energy. So that's coming in there. A ten of pentacles here. So someone who may be a hard worker, who's very abundant, safe, secure, grounded. That's with the pentacle energy. Someone you could have the ten of pentacles with. So let's see, spring. So that was about the time frame was spring, nine of spring. So... I don't think I'll clarify that. That's pretty uh, self-explanatory. So let's see what this leaving or traveling is. The two of cups, <laughs> soulmate union. Yep, I definitely feel like here, you, you're either gonna like go on vacation and relocate or something like that. And that's how you meet your soulmate. Wow. And that's the water energy, Cancer Scorpio Pisces. Here, leaving or travel will bring in your soulmate. All right, so let's see. Strength here. So um, I think it's going to be a very strong bond. Um, very strong bond between the two of you. And it may be like instant, like an instant connection. All right.
right, so I definitely feel like here uh, with the, the stone people vig vigilance that you will be like out. Um, she's have the empress here. So you see she's like out in the field here. Uh, someone who's very strong, stable, grounded, who is vigilant. Um, and this could be your energy, just out in nature, walking, hiking, whatever you're doing here and being very like in your empress energy. And then all of a sudden, oh my God, who's that person? And it's a very strong, con like instant connection. It's like, boom, there it is. It's like a sacred union. It's like magic, <laughs> magic. Okay, so let's see. So we got the two of cups and sacred union. So that's soulmate union. All right, so what else do I want to clarify here for you, Virgo? Let's clarify sacred union. Let it be good. The queen of swords. So whenever I get the queen of swords, this is almost like divine energy to me. Like the divine holding up the sword of truth, clarity, making this divine union happen, like manifesting it for this divine couple. Truth, clarity, that sort of energy. So yeah, there's the divine energy bringing in the sacred union. Wow. So, let's see. Is there anything else for Virgo? Is there anything else for Virgo? Anything else? So, if some of you do go on vacation and then you're unsure about relocating or moving to a new location, I say go for it because you may meet your ultimate soulmate. Wow. And get out there if you do explore your surroundings and uh, get out there and move your body, explore, hike, like I said, hike or whatever here. Yeah, as I said that the hermit came out. Don't be a hermit because <laughs> you won't meet this person if you're a hermit. And that's your energy, Virgo. Don't be a hermit, Virgo. Get out there and you'll meet this person in nature, vacation exercising, hiking, whatever here. Telling you not to be a hermit. Wow. <laughs> Anything else for Virgo? New love, singles, who's coming towards them? The fool, yeah. Taking a leap of faith, getting out there. Just jumping right in. And not worrying about anything, just uh, taking that leap of faith. Take that leap and get out there. Stop moving your body. See, he's moving. And you'll find your soulmate for some of you. All right. Is there anything else? Is there any? So I just had the nine of wands show up and I put it back, but that's just clarifying over here. The nine of spring, it's the same thing. So definitely you could be meeting this uh, person uh, in the springtime, spring months. And then we have the high priestess. So... This, you know, listening to your gut, your intuition, your higher knowing and being divinely connected here with the divine energy here and knowing what you know and just trusting that. So if you're wondering, you know, and maybe not saying much, keeping your thoughts uh, to yourself, you know, as you're trying to decide, gee, I went on vacation and I really want to relocate here, but I don't know. And this is telling you, listen to your gut, your intuition and your higher knowing. Because if that's what you truly feel that you want for some reason, then you should. And you will meet your ultimate soulmate. <laughs> that will lead, and I had said to possible marriage, commitment, and children. And here's the Hierophant, which is about marriage and commitment. So this definitely could lead to, and uh, the Ten of Cups. So total fulfillment, happiness, and joy with this person. And it could lead to marriage or commitment in the future. Wow, Virgo. I hope you like this. If you did, please comment, share, like, subscribe, hit the bell. You'll be notified when I post new readings. And best of luck to you here in your situation. Uh, I do four different readings a month, so don't miss out on that. And I'm sending you many light, love, and blessings. And always, always, always shine your light.